Hi, I'm Carla, and today I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how I draw a French Bulldog. So the ears are a good place to start on a French Bulldog because they're so prominent, as well as the head shape, which is sort of wide and flat. The nose and the snout are really iconic on this breed, so it's really important to pay special attention to this part. And the eyes on a French Bulldog are distinctive too, so make sure to draw them far apart and drooping down to the sides a little bit. Really try to get those ears looking like bat ears because that's what they're known for. It's a good idea to block out at least part of the body while you're working so that you have a plan for your following steps. I'm jumping back up here to the face because I wanted to find some of these features better. Their eyes are really bright, so try to add some highlights in there by erasing out some of the black. And you can use thicker lines to help draw the viewer's eyes to the features that you really want them to focus on. So in this dog's case, that would be the snout and the wrinkles. Then you can start adding in some of the finer details like the little wrinkles. Once you feel confident about the face, come back and start fleshing out the body. A French Bulldog has four legs that are sort of straight and short. They've also got medium-sized paws and, and their knuckles come up sharply. Their chests are wide and set high up. Their hind legs are longer than the forelegs and when they sit down they sort of squash up a little bit. Once you've got all the foundations pretty solid, go ahead and start cleaning up and closing up the rest of the lines. Like for instance here I'm connecting the jowl to the neck. French Bulldogs have a slight underbite in their mouth, so I'm going to just add a little subtle indication of that. Things can get pretty messy when you're drawing, so make sure to clean out some of those lines you don't need. Then once you've got your line work done, you can start on the shading. In this case, I'm pretending that the light source is over his head, so I'm going to shade under the folds and under his snout and inside the ears and anywhere a shadow might be. So that's my quick demo on drawing a French Bulldog. Thanks for watching and see you soon.